Afternoon folks, how is everyone? Things are absolutely gorgeous out here. Again, it's, it's the nice time of the year to be out here before we line up and charge the gates of hell that is summer. But while it's nice, take advantage of it, get the hell out of the house and sit outdoors. We are going to do another one in the series. That's class for years. <laughs> With the Luigi Bormioli. Luigi. And what we're going to take a look at is 805. So it's a blonde or a golden ale. Eh, whatever it is. It's a good solid go-to beer. Nothing super special, nothing super complicated. Just a nice easy drinker. So you know how it goes since this is going to wind. Motherfuckers, get back down there. Uh, since it's going to go up on YouTube, we are going to play music while I pour and check temps just to piss YouTube off because, um, as Luigi would say. So, we're going to take a look at Breezin from George Benson. It is the studio version. Mr. Benson is an amazingly talented guitar player and a really solid musician. I uh, met him just recently. I saw him back in the 80s, but I met him just recently. Really nice guy. We were bullshitting for about 15, 20 minutes. Solid, solid dude. Here we go, folks. Let's stop breathing. Mr. Benson, sorry about that, but that's two and a half minutes worth of music, so screw tube can screw off. Alrighty, folks, we've done 805. If you're really that interested in the specs on it, she runs sub five. I want to say the IBUs on this are sub 20. Beautiful color of maybe a six. Uh, so. Both are poured. Again, both are within a degree of each other. I think the thickness of the glass affects the temperature of the beer because we've had that one degree swing before. I don't know. The Luigi is a really fine, thin, nice, and this, like a friggin' tank. So, that would be my guess. Anyway, let's give it a nose. Nice, light beery nose. Nothing super overpowering, not malty or sweet. 
meh, touch of sweetness. All in all, a good solid beer. I drink these whenever they run them on sale for five bucks a six pack. <laughs> Actually, I drink them pretty often anyway. Let's give this one the nose. This time for a change, the noses are about comparable. The last couple, the nose has always been heavier in the, the appropriate glass as opposed to the taster. Yeah, about the same. Alrighty. Now it goes. Good on the nose, got a slip of the tongue. It's rules, man. You know they call it a gold ale because of the way it's hopped, it's top hopped instead of traditional like a lager. You could easily pass for a lager. Not super bitter, nice, clean, medium fast, thin bodied, uh, good coating of the palate, clean and dry on the back end. And overall, an easy, good, solid beer. I drink these all the time. Notably malty, not super bitter. I will say she's probably right up at about 20 on IBUs. You know what? Not particularly clean on the back end, but definitely dry. I still have the I still have the the beer on the tongue as it were. And which is not malty. Lightly sweet. Is what it is. Alright, let's see what Luigi has to oh. Why didn't drink this? How dare somebody walk down the cul-de-sac? Do they not know it's her cul-de-sac? Go watch, dog. Let's do the Luigi. See, now that nose is just about gone. And she's supposed to be nucleated, so she releases... Well, she's still releasing bubbles, so I guess she is nucleated. That just means they etch a ring in the bottom to continuously release the bubbles. thinner as sweet if maybe just a, a skosh sweeter super fast through the middle cleaner on the back end I don't know why might actually be something to the glasses Same thing. Much cleaner, much thinner. Just about as sweet. Cleaner on the back end. Friggin' weird what a difference glass makes. Cult of Personality Club, my friend, you ask who does all those glasses? Who washes all those glasses? Well, I had a dishwasher once. But um, it took my dog and my truck and left me living a country music song, so I won't get another one of those anytime soon. I do them by hand, sir, and the reason I went with the snooty tester taster glass is so I only have to wash one. You know, some nights I'll do three or four beers, and you can tell by the time I get to the fourth beer that I've done three or four beers. I call this one <sighs> Well, I'll say there's a difference between the two and this one drinks thinner 
you might want to stick with the pint just so you get the rest of the body flavor wise they're virtually identical so it doesn't make that huge a difference with the 805 other than the body of the particular ale um but i don't really care because i like 805 so uh drink it with the boat i'll drink it in a goat i'll drink it wherever dr seuss thanks for coming by my friends i appreciate you putting some eyeballs on here but we'll catch you on the next one till then this she's a luigi salute